Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. So allow me to just share my screen so we can start the ball rolling. And then today we are going to talk about and we will ask everyone, are you in or out? So we'll be talking about the anatomy of the ideal teacher in the normal, uh, in the new normal world. Okay. Wow. So welcome to the new normal world. Alam ko po, no, this has been um, a resounding term na lagi na po natin naririnig ngayon. And all of us are now living in a new normal education a scenario. All right. But prior to that, or along the way, going to the new normal period, I know that teachers, no, all of us, it was not very easy. We were actually um, pushed, okay, to get out of our convenience or to our our comfort zones. We were actually um, 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 forced to to look for for solutions and be creative. We were actually encouraged to be to, to think out of the box and discover new frontiers. Kaya po ako yung naniniwala na, na teachers, okay, all of us have gone through a period of metamorphosis during the pandemic. It was difficult, yes, but we all learned to overcome our fears. I, I hope that you all agree with me in this particular belief, okay? And then now, you know, um, along the way, we have encountered a number of disruptions, okay, leading to the new normal world. Balik tanawan lang po natin kung ano ba itong mga disruptions na ito na tayo po ay kinaya natin or kinakaya pa rin natin hanggang ngayon na i-survive, pag-aralan, at i-overcome, um, alright? So, during this period, we have seen more than ever, more than before, no, digital dependence. Kitang kita na po. We have become more dependent digitally. Distance learning modalities has or have become mainstream nowadays. Adaptive learning approaches has become our method, no, in checking ano ba ang background ng mga estudyante natin. What are their personal or individual circumstances so we can adapt the learning method or approach that we will have to provide for them so education will continue. Utagogy has become also an overarching theme no? when we speak of utagogy. This is uh, talking about preparing students to become more independent, managing and supervising their own learning journey. And also, you no know, home-based learning has become um, um, very evident now. You no, know? we brought learning, we brought schooling uh, to the homes. And also, of course, we have seen strong parental involvement this time. You no, know? and the parents are now sharing the role as teachers from their homes. And of course, we are now in the open learning environment. You no. Know? We have proven once more, nobody can monopolize learning, nobody can monopolize education. And so now, like this webinar, no, it's, it's open. Anyone can access it. And of course, borderless education. And again, Paul, you can access education anytime and anywhere. So these are just some of the disruptions that we have seen, okay, that happened from March until today. And you see, no, um, um, with all these changes and shifts, Ano nga ba? How do we describe the ideal teacher in the new normal world? You can ask yourself, am I still the ideal teacher during the physical face-to-face -face class? Isa ako sa mga outstanding teachers. Pero ngayon, ibang-iba na ang platforma. We are now teaching in a different platform. Am I still the ideal teacher? Okay, so that's one question that we will have to answer this afternoon. All right. You know what? I asked several people, all right? These are some of my mentors in the academy. These are some of my colleagues and my network in the academy. I asked them, how will you describe the ideal teacher in the new normal world? Kasi po gusto kong pulutin yung kanilang mga ideas, okay? As I prepare this at a talk. So according to my good friend, who is the national leader of the Massive Open Online Courses here in the Philippines, Dr. Romualdo Maguan, an ideal new normal teacher possesses adaptability, resilience, and growth mindset. He welcomes and embraces changes and doesn't yield to challenges. He sees beauty and opportunity amid adversity. And finally, he inspires and empowers others and helps them transform chaos into change, negativities into possibilities. I think that is a very powerful line, or transforming chaos into change 
negativities into possibilities. As I read through these definitions, okay, from these education experts, I hope that you will all pick up, no? Ito pong mga beautiful nuggets of, of, of wisdom that they are sharing to us. According to Ms. Nelly Sara, no, the, the president of the Private Schools Association of Makati, who is also a FAPSA officer, the ideal new normal teacher should be more than willing to embrace change. In embracing change, he does not focus on the problems and obstacles. Instead, he looks on all possibilities. To him, there's no room for negative thoughts as it's only a waste of energy and time. This is a very powerful, positive statement, no? but I love that line, willing to embrace change. According to Dr. Dalise Browner, who is a graduate school professional lecturer and currently my dissertation advisor, she's also a very seasoned or a seasoned academician, the ideal new normal teacher is adaptable to the requirements of learning at this time. He can determine what is essential from the non-essential. He, he, he utilizes technology creatively to engage with students, whether in the physical or virtual classroom. He practices tolerance and patience to ensure that students are reached out. I love that line. Practices tolerance and patience. I, I, I'm sure you will agree. It's not easy to be in the virtual classroom. When you think it's easier than the face-to-face, -face, no. The virtual classroom is a lot more demanding and it, it requires us to be more patient. According to the Dean of the College of Education of the University of Makati, who is also a legal expert, Attorney Cecilia, Attorney Cecilia Oduka, marunong sa paggamit ng technology at aware siya sa circumstances ng mga bata dahil may pagpapahalaga siya sa mental health ng mga ito. So this definition gave us a different light, no? The teachers in the new normal should also give value or understand the mental health of our students. All right. According to the principal of the Mesho Yabut Senior High School, okay, Professor Cecil San Jose, the ideal new normal teacher is adaptive, technologically competent, collaborative, trainable, pro-student, has a hearing heart for parents, most of all flexible to various types of learners and situation. I love that line, hearing heart for parents parents okay because this time more than ever it requires us to partner with parents according to the vice president for academic affairs of philippine normal university dr jenny hobson the new normal teacher is flexible with new skill sets to navigate through the additional expectations in the delivery of teaching and learning new skills sets no kaya tanungin natin po yung mga sarili natin meron na ba tayo nitong mga new skill sets na ito all right according to the school's division superintendent of the city of makati dr carlene sedilia no she gave me a very insightful uh, definition i believe that the ideal teacher is the in the new normal should be innovative and flexible he is someone who teach beyond the curriculum or space a self-paced curriculum, develops constant and responsive teacher and student interactions, has strong parent partnership, frequently does skill checks that guides the progress of the learners, is accessible anytime and anywhere, familiar with technology that enriches the teaching and learning experiences, and ensures a virtual or physical learning environment that adapts to the student's needs. Napakaganda po nung linya is accessible anytime and anywhere. That's because of technology. And according to the season inspirational speaker and training, okay, the advocate advocate of life skills for life success, Professor Henry Penedero, according to him, the ideal new normal teacher is one who is able to thrive, inspire, and engage learners. Remember, it's only the instruction delivery platform that has changed. Online teaching should be both high tech and high touch. The substance of the subject matter remains the same. Ang ganda po no, nung kanyang kinoin. It should be high-tech or high-tech and high-touch. Alright. So today, I chose a different route, my, my fellow educators. No? Instead of, of giving a talk and sound to, uh, and appear to be or, or be didactic in terms of giving you content, uh, procedures, all right. I know that you have already, all right, um, um, witnessed and, and participated in a lot of webinars by Vibal na nag-concentrate na po sa ganun, no? sa content at sa mga um, um, instructions, uh, focuses, or, or mga procedures. 
Ngayon po, I'd like to, to, to encourage everyone to join me in a, in a more reflective discussion. Gawin naman natin iba, no? Reflective learning naman po ang gawin natin. What I will do is, I will be giving you the characteristics of of the new normal teacher, the ideal teacher in the new normal. And then po, I will be asking you some questions that I want all of you to check or to ask um, to yourselves para magkaroon po tayo ng self-reflection and self-check. And then let's see what boxes shall be ticked. Alright? Yun po. Okay. And then I group po my characteristics no, of the ideal new normal teacher according to the three domains of learning, which is cognitive, affective, and psychomotor. So let's start. The first characteristic is expertise. So what do I mean by that? The teacher's level of capability, specialization or degree of qualification, and basis of credibility as a result of training, education, experience, or exposure to a specific field. He is a lifelong learner and updates himself despite the limitations of the new normal environment. So this is a very beautiful definition of what expertise is. So I want you to ask the following questions and let's see now what boxes shall be ticked first, okay? And let's ponder upon this, these questions. Do you still attend professional trainings? So ngayon, kung nandito kayo sa webinar and you are witnessing this training, congratulations! Alright, because you can tick this box. Do you still read? Okay, ano na po ba? Nagbabasa pa po ba tayo? Ano, reading is also one way of learning. And according to Francis Bacon, di ba, reading makes a full man. Kaya po, let's find time to read. Okay, para po madagdagan pa yung ating kaalaman. Have you been invited as resource person? Because that is also a sign of expertise. Do you pursue further studies? Sino po dito yung mga enrolled ngayon? Okay, sa kanila mga graduate school, whether formal or informal, informal trainings, dapat po tayo ay tuloy-tuloy na nag-aaral. They have published works. Okay, that's one question. And what professional organizations are you a part of? Okay, so I hope that you have asked yourselves these questions to check ano kayang score ko pagdating sa expertise. Okay, let's now move to the next. Updated. The ideal new normal teacher is updated. Refers to the timeliness and currency of knowledge. Its applicability, usefulness, and suitability to the present time also speaks about the extent and comprehensiveness of one's knowledge, sense of awareness on the latest issues and concepts related to his field, and how they evolve. So it's timeliness and currency of what we know. Okay? So tanungin natin ang ating mga sarili and let's ponder upon these questions. What are the latest trends in your field? Alam niyo po ba? Ngayon nagkaroon ng pandemya. How was it affected by all these changes happening now? Are you currently engaged in any research project in your discipline? O yung inaral niyo po nung some 10 years ago, yun pa rin po yung alam niyo, hindi na, pa kayo, hindi na po kayo nag-update. Alright, do you know the latest regulations governing your industry right now? So ito po ay mga tanong, no? Baka po kasi mamaya yung tinuturo natin sa estudyante, bulok na. Baka yung mga tinuturo natin sa estudyante, may amag na. And then you encounter a very intelligent student that will correct you, no? It's a crime. All right, to teach students something that is obsolete. Kaya are you aware which specific area in your field has become obsolete or has been replaced by new concepts? It is our obligation, it's part of our job to update ourselves. Okay? Next, yeah. Visionary. The ideal teacher in the new normal world is a visionary. It is having a clear perspective of the end in mind beyond what is conceivable at the present time, being able to project and work hard for the unknown future. This teacher is a futurist and is not easily disheartened by failure. So, dapat po malayo yung ating pagtingin, hindi lang sa kung ano yung nandito sa harapan natin because we should prepare for something that is, okay, uh, um, ad more advanced para po mas ready tayo. So, what are the questions I'd like you to check and tick, okay? What is your professional goal? Alam ko po na nung tayo ay mga bagong guru pa, we are very ideal no, sa ating pagiging guru, sa ating professional a dream. Okay? Kaya po, eh, alam ko habang tumatagal, parang nawawala ba? Nawawala ba? Na, 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 nawawala yung idealism natin? So dapat hindi. Okay? And then what should be the goal of every school? This is 
this has to be clear. What is the purpose of schools? How do you influence student to, students to set their own goals? Dapat po nakakaskade natin sa mga bata yung pagkikreate din ng personal goals para sa kanilang mga sarili. Kaya po mahirap pag ang teacher walang goal, walang professional goal. Okay, wag po tayo magulat kung mga studyante rin ay walang goals. How do you define your ideal graduate? It has to be clear, no? Because that is your product, okay? And then, what are the skills that your students must learn to prepare them for the future? So these questions are questions that will test kung ikaw ba ay visionary if you are looking forward to the future, okay? So ano po ba yung mga boxes na nagtitik dyan? Ako, nakakalungkot naman kung wala tayong box na natik, no? Okay, next. Technology adaptive. All right. So this is one of the characteristics: familiarity to the use of and willingness to learn technology or teach technology tools that will aid learning and student engagement, whether in the physical classroom or virtual learning environment. Okay, because technology is now a requirement. No, lalo na distance education po yung ating ating ginagawa sa mga panahon ito. Okay, so what are the questions that I'd like you to ask? Okay, what technology tools do you utilize which aid to enrich teaching and learning experiences? Okay, meron po ba tayong mga technology tools, no? I'm sure natutunan na natin mag-Google Classroom, nag-Google Meet, nag-Zoom, okay? So, dagdagan pa po natin because these technology tools will add flavor and will help us to be more efficient, okay? And effective at this time. Do you try new technology platforms? Alam niyo naman ang mga estudyante natin, no? They they can easily get tired at madaling magsawa, kaya naman dapat lagi tayong merong bago na iniintroduce sa kanila and they love that, okay? Do you seek or as uh, do you seek help in learning technology? Okay, marami po sa mga teachers, alam ko na dirinig ko na ako masyado na ako matanda para matutunan ko 'yan. Hindi ko na kayang aralin 'yan, pangbata lang 'yan. Hindi po 'yung totoo. Okay? You can learn technology. Okay? The mere fact that you are able to join us today in this webinar is already a proof that you can learn technology. Maghingi lang po tayo ng tulong. Okay? Do you have a social media account to start with? Meron po ba tayong mga Facebook account? Meron ba tayong IG? Bakit? Kasi po nahan din yung mga estudyante natin. Kaya po naman for, for us to engage with them, okay, dapat meron din po tayong ganito. Okay. And now, resilient. Now, sabi nga, no? this is a common characteristic of Filipinos in general. So among the teachers, this is someone who has a clear perspective of who he is and his purpose. He stands firm, okay, to this uh, to this perspective, to fulfill his mission and sees opportunity in every mystery. He finds solutions and looks at things positively. He does not give up easily in every adversity and strives hard to succeed. Alam ko no, lahat tayong mga guro grabe yung pinagdaanan natin no, dahil napakabilis ng naging effect nung nung pandemya nung pandemic and we have to go uh, with the flow we have to adapt we have to to find solution ganun din naman tayo uh, kabilis na nag-isip ng pamamaraan at ginawa nating lahat kaya i'm sure medyo pagod no nakakapagod nakaka-stress pero tingnan niyo naman naka-smile pa rin tayo hanggang ngayon because we have to be resilient because we believe that this things that we're doing now are all part of our mission as teachers. So let me ask you this question. Pakitik po yung mga box kung ano po ang, ang, ang meron tayo dito o wala dito. At kung hindi nyo matitik yung box, it's never late. Kayang-kaya pa po natin humabol. No? How patient are you amidst the challenges? Okay, susuko na ba? Okay, sa dami ng challenge na ito. Ang hirap-hirap maging guru ngayon. May problema pa sa bahay, no? Tapos sumasabay pa tong mga typhoon na to na sunod-sunod. Okay, kaya po ako po na nakikidalamhati sa ating mga mga kapwa guru at kapwa Pilipino na tinamaan ng nagdaang typhoon, ano, Rolly, no? Lalo na po yung mga taga-Katanduanes, taga-Bicol. Okay, kaya po ako po nagdadasal para po sa inyo. All right, do you believe that everything happens for a reason? Ha? Ito ay mindset ng isang taong resilient. Lahat ng nagdadaan sa atin may dahilan. 
Okay? How strong-willed are you in pursuing something until it materializes? Hindi sumusuko, bumabangon pa rin hanggang mangyari yung bagay na gusto mong mangyari. And how do you cope with challenging situations? No? Okay? I'm sure, no? Tayo mga guro, sabi ko nga, after this, after we overcame all this, wala na po tayong hindi pa kaya, hindi na kayang gawin no? with everything that has happened. Okay, have we ticked the boxes? All right. Let's now, do you trust that God is in control? Okay, sa lahat po ng ito, wag po tayong mawawala ng pananampalataya at ng faith. Okay, dahil po maraming bagay ang hindi natin kaya. Okay, and we just have to trust and leave it to God. Okay. Next, let's now go to the affected domain. Ito, maganda rin po ito na malaman natin lahat. Passionate. Okay, being passionate is another characteristic of an ideal teacher in the new normal. Kahit po na, na maraming nangyari, yung passion natin dapat nandyan pa rin. It refers to the teacher's drive or level of enthusiasm, desire, and excitement to teach, to serve his or her purpose in life. Regardless of any challenge, circumstance, and limitation, teaching to him is an act of selflessness, a vocation, and personal contribution to the greater good of humanity. Okay, kamusta ba yung ating passion? Nagliliyab pa ba? Pakitanong nyo nga yung mga kapwa-guro ninyo. Nagliliyab pa ba ang inyong passion sa pagiging guro? Dapat hindi po namamatay ang ating torches. Okay? So here are the questions I'd like you to ask yourselves. How do you personally define education? So we have to check paano ba natin dinedefine ang education? Dapat po may malinaw tayong konsepto. Kasi baka mamaya, yung definition mo ng education ay hindi naka-align no? sa kung ano ba talaga ang tama at dapat na values ng teacher. Okay? Kasi po, kung ang, ang, ang definition mo ng education ay para kumita ng pera, ay baka po medyo naliligaw tayo. No? It's more than earning. Alright? Meron pa pong mas malalim na dahilan at definition ang pagtuturo. Okay, which aspect of teaching do you find most rewarding? Okay, ako po personally, no, isa sa mga bagay na ikinatutuwa ko is when someone um, goes back or returns to me at magpapasalamat. Sir, salamat kasi natatandaan mo ba nung ganito, meron akong ganito, may tinanong ako sa'yo, ito yung pinayo mo, gamit na gamit ko po siya ngayon. Ngayon po, ganito na ako, successful doctor na ako, successful nurse na ako, ako po isang guru na rin. Okay, these are all the rewards. That, that actually are valuable okay, para sa akin. I'm sure you can relate, relate with me on that. No? Pero nga pong instance na nakapila ako sa isang clinic dahil ako'y magpapacheck up, nagulat na lang ako may tumawag sa akin no? at ako'y pinalalapit doon sa counter okay? hanggang sa bigla siyang nagpakilala. Sir, studyante niyo po ako dati. Halika po, sasamahan na kita doon sa, sa ano, office ng doctor no? para di ka na pumila. Alam niyo, these are all little favors that we we reap no being teachers kaya po uh, ang sarap maging guru what what makes you different from the other teachers all right ano ba tanong mo sa sarili mo ano ba ang aking kaibahan sa aking mga kapwa guru i hope your answer will be positive no baka naman mamaya you are different dahil negative yung reason no wag naman sana ako yung kakaibang guro dahil ako yung chismos ang teacher wag naman sana ng ganon no dapat positive ako yung kakaibang guro dahil ako yung gumagawa ng extra okay para ma-ensure ko ng ako mga estudyante ay matuto alright dapat ganun yung ating pananaw how do you inspire students to learn amidst the pandemic okay baka naman pag nagmi-meet kayo ano ang inyong motivation na, na na part ng klase ay ang magdadaing ng nararanasan ninyo sa sa inyong bahay o naman uh, simula ng klase ng pagpa-find ng fault. Ano ba yan? Hoy, Peter, ano ba? Ganyan. Okay, so medyo dapat po inspirational ang ating datingan ngayon because our students, just like us, they are also stressed. No? Ang dami rin nilang iniintindi. Iniintindi nila ang connectivity, iniintindi nila yung gadget, iniintindi nila kayo, iniintindi nila yung pamilya nila. Okay? Ang dami rin po. Parehas lang po tayo. So we have to be more, okay, inspirational or inspiring. And what things do you do beyond your job which you believe is necessary being a teacher? 
Okay? I'm sure naman tayo mga guro talagang ganyan eh, no? Kung kailangan gawin, ginagawa po natin. Let's move to the next. Ayan, positive. Okay? An ideal teacher in the new normal world is positive. The nature of being happy, accommodating, open-minded, solution-centered, warm, friendly, and optimistic at all times, despite the challenges of the new normal world, wishing nothing but the best for all. Okay, alam nyo, naniniwala ako, no? happy people are positive people. Okay? No? And, and yun naman pong mga sad people and miserable people are actually negative people. Kaya yun po yung mga taong dapat iniiwasan natin. Okay? So here are the questions I want you to think on or think up, up under upon. How do you handle challenging students? Okay? Do you do you do you inspire them to to actually change? No, inspiration your reason or do you threaten them or do you scare them? Okay? What else? How do you handle conflict between peers? O ikaw yung kasalan sa conflict. How do you relate with your colleagues? Ayan. Okay, ikaw ba yung yung inaayawan ng mga kasamahan mo dahil dahil masyado kang maere, na feeling mo ikaw na lahat ang laging bida, okay? O ikaw yung laging tinatanong at nilalapitan, nilalapitan because your aura is very positive and you are so approachable. How do you handle stress? Yung stress mo ba sa bahay dinadala mo sa pagtuturo? And how do you perceive the things around? May mga tao po na kahit na gaano kaganda ang nangyayari, wala pa ring masabing maganda, no? Dahil ang lagi lang nilang nakikita ay yung negativity. And how do you laugh at your own mistakes? Minsan kailangan nating gawin 'to, no? Pag nagkamali tayo, tawanan mo lang. No, tao tayo eh. Okay? Meron tayong limitations, all right? Kung tayo masyado magdwell sa ating mga pagkakamali at mga kakulangan. And do you still smile? Okay? Nagsasmile pa ba tayo sa mga nangyayaring ito patong-patong? May COVID-19, tapos hayan, may bagyo, sunod-sunod, nasira ang bahay ko. Okay, tapos magpapasko pa, ano, nakakatawa pa ba tayo? Alright, smile lang po, okay? Everything will come to pass. So, next, professional. An ideal teacher in the new normal is someone who's professional. So what do we mean by this? It's the ability to self-regulate, setting boundaries for appropriateness and acceptability. The ability to show sensitivity to context with the right level of maturity manifested on how he thinks, acts, speaks, or deal with others. No? Yung professionalism po, hindi lamang yan nasusukat kung ano yung degree na meron ka. Okay? Hindi lamang po yan nasusukat kung gaano kataas yung pinag-aralan natin. Professionalism, okay, is is how you self-regulate. Ito nga daw po yung kung ano yung ginagawa mo kapag hindi ka nakikita. Okay, because that is integrity. Or walang nakakakita sa'yo. So, what are the questions? Let's take your boxes, no? How do you deal with others? Okay? How do you gain students and colleagues' respect? O, oh, dinadaan ba natin sa pananakot? Ha? How do you perform while working from home? Alam niyo po, no? this time requires a lot of trust. Naniniwala ba kayo doon? A lot of trust between the teachers and their managers. A lot of, of trust between the students and the teachers. Bakit? Kasi hindi natin sila talaga lagi nakikita. Hindi tayo magkakasama. Pag nakapatay na ang camera, ano na kayong ginagawa ng estudyante? Ano kayong ginagawa ng teacher? No? Hindi ko na namomonitor. Baka nagmumol lang. Alam niyo, yung mga ganun pong mga scenario. That's why this, okay, this time requires a lot of trust. How do you handle disagreement, rejection, or criticisms? Okay? Ikaw ba yung nagwawala agad, naghuhuri ng tado agad kapag ka nakarinig ka ng rejection o ng criticism? Alright. And how do you respond to the changes and challenges brought about by the new normal environment? Do you see them negatively or do you see them as opportunity? Okay? So, let's check, no? Alin ba mga boxes na natik natin? Sana mas madami pong natitik, ha? Okay, let's now move to the next. The ideal teacher in the new normal world is engaging. Oh, being responsive to the requirements of the situation, having the willingness to take the extra mile to bring others to your cause or what you believe in. 
it is utilizing additional means to make class sessions lively and meaningful whether in physical or virtual classrooms. Ito po yung isa sa mga challenge. Ang hirap maging engaging kapag hindi ka physical face-to-face -face class, di ba? Nandito ka sa kagaya ngayon. Ako, nagsasalita ako sa harapan ninyo. Hindi ko alam kung kayo ba'y natutuwa. Hindi ko alam kung gusto nyo pa ba'y narinig nyo. Hindi ko alam, hindi ko nakikita yung inyong mga reaksyon. E tayo mga teachers, kapag tayo nasa harap ng classroom at kita-kita natin mga bata at nakikita natin natutuwa sila, nakikita natin yung feedback o yung responses nila, na ano tayo eh, na dumalakas yung loob natin at, at nag lalo tayong gumagaling no ngayon walang ganoon no para akong ngayon no sa experience ko para akong nagmo-monologue dito pero i hope natutuwa na makaisa sa mga pinagsasabi ko no and that's engaging no we have to still try and exert extra effort kaya dapat po mag-aral tayo and let's find new methods approaches new flavors no na pwedeng nating gamitin during the online class okay So here are the questions that I'd like you to check yourselves with. Okay, how committed are you to your profession? Kasi kung hindi ka committed, hindi ka mag-exert ng effort. Kinasabi ko na po yan. Okay, marami pong mga ganyan pa rin teacher. Turo uwe, turo uwe, turo e na tama na. Very minimal lang yung binibigay. Okay, hindi po ganon. Next, do you explore creative means to make your class sessions more relevant? and meaningful. Nagre-research, nag-aaral, pinag-aaralan para matutunan ang mga bagong means to engage. How do you contextualize lessons to what students can actually relate to? Alam nyo, engagement din po yun. Baka mamaya napakataas. Masyado nung approach natin. No? Ngayon po sa panahon ito, when things are more complex and complicated, the simpler, the better. Okay? Let's just identify, sabi nga po, nung isa sa definitions earlier, the, the essential from the non-essentials. Kaya nga, meron na tayong ano eh, no? yung tinatawag nating uh, uh, most essential uh, learning competencies sa DepEd. Do you assist your colleagues who are having a hard time during the new normal learning? Nagbo-volunteer ba tayong i-guide yung mga teacher natin na medyo naiiwan at medyo hindi makasabay. That is also an act of engagement. Alright? Sige nga, itik nyo nga yung mga boxes, no? Dapat lahat yan, natitik natin. Okay, let's move to the next. Humble. Okay, so an ideal teacher in the new normal world should be or should remain humble. It's the state of being sincerely grateful and thankful at all times. It's being receptive to invitations, suggestions, and other people's ideas, including disagreement and constructive criticisms. It is the sense of modesty and being able to admit mistakes when at fault to apologize. Kaya no, it's being grateful and thankful. Naniniwala ako ang taong grateful or may gratitude at laging nagpapasalamat. That is an, a, an act of a person who has the humility. Okay? No, sa lahat ng nangyayari, I'm sure ang nakikita natin, we have discovered new frontiers and we have accomplished so much. Baka naman lumalaki yung ulo natin, no? Dahil wow, napagtagumpayan namin, nakaka-survive kami, no? Huwag po nating ikalaki ng ulo 'yan. Let's remain humble, okay? And grounded. So here are the questions that I'd like you to, to think about. Do you see opportunities from the adversities around you? Do you acknowledge your weaknesses and recognize other people's strengths? Okay, nire-respeto ba natin kapag yung galing ng tao ay nakikita natin? No? Tanggapin natin yun, i-respeto natin at i-acknowledge natin, i-recognize natin yung strengths ng isa't isa. How do you respond to praise? Do you give opportunities to others? And do you welcome suggestions? These are all, okay, checkpoints, okay, of your level of humility. And when was the last time you said sorry? Dagdag na rin natin yung thank you. Okay. Let's now move to the third domain, which is psychomotor. Innovative. The ideal teacher in the new normal world should be innovative. What do we mean by that? It's being creative, out of the box, non-traditional, and extraordinary. This type of teacher takes the extra mile to find ways to deliver or meet the expected learning outputs in an unconventional way, regardless how inconvenient, risky, unpopular, and challenging it could get. Ako, isa to sa pinaka-importante na dapat meron po tayo. 
our ability to innovate and think out of the box. Dahil this time calls for this. Okay? Marami pong bagay na dati natin ginagawa ang hindi na pwede ngayon. Okay? At kahit na po bumalik pa sa dati na pwede na tayong bumalik sa schools, okay, we still have to be innovative. So here are the questions I'd like you to ask yourselves. How bold are you as a teacher? Masyado ka bang safe? Okay, yung laging ginagawa mo, ayaw mong mag-try ng bago. Are you an out-of-the-box thinker? Do you love to experiment new ways to deliver classes physically or virtually? Okay, nagtatry ba tayo ng mga bagong methods? Do you facilitate student-centered classroom o gusto mo ikaw lang lagi ang bida? How do you use your subject to connect the students to the real world? That is an act of innovation. Okay. And next, collaborative. Okay. The teacher or the ideal teacher in the new normal world is collaborative. This teacher works well with others and respects other people's strengths, contribution, and opinion. He seeks support from others as he believes that working together is better than working alone. He understands that there is beauty in harmony. Ayan. Okay, ikaw ba yung tipo ng teacher na gustong-gustong kasama lagi at katrabaho lagi ng mga kasamahan mo because you are collaborative. You work well with others. Okay, so here are the questions I want you to ask yourselves. Do you accept that there is someone better than you? Okay, o, gusto, o sa paningin mo, ikaw lang yung magaling. Okay, aayawan ka po, lalayuan ka po ng iyong mga kasamahan kapag ganyan kang klase ng teacher. Are you open to suggestions? O ikaw ba yung tipo ng tao na hindi pa tapos yung suggestion, kinakat mo na? Do you confer with other people in your team? Do you ask them? Ano ba ang magandang solution? Ano ba ang opinion ninyo tungkol dito? Do you give credit to whom credit is due? Or credit grabber ka? Do you build partnerships with your stakeholders? Do you reach out to them? Do you seek help from them? Okay, these are some of the questions that you can ask yourselves to check kung tayo po ba ay collaborative, okay? And do you obey first before you complain, no? Ako, marami po akong ganyang na-encounter. With my 22, nearly 23 years of teaching, no? Yung tipong, bibigyan mo pa lang ng instruction, na nag-aano na, nagre-reklamo na. Okay? Huwag pong gano'n, no? Because when, when, when you are assigned something that is training, consider that as a training ground for you to prove what you can do and to discover your potentials. Alright. Next, flexible. Okay? The teacher or the ideal teacher in the new normal world is flexible. This teacher has a clear goal in mind and sticks to it, but... He allows diversity and accepts various ways to meet these goals. No? He lets students be themselves and welcomes disruption positively. He's out of the box and is willing to see new frontiers. Malinaw sa atin kung ano yung gusto natin mangyari o yung end gusto natin marating. But we may be different in terms on, of how to reach the end goal. Okay lang yun. Okay? Kagaya nga po sa panahon ito, talaga naman pong dapat flexible. Hindi pwedeng, hindi pwedeng, ano, hindi pwedeng nakataga sa ano lang, ito lang, ito lang. Kasi po, iba-iba po ang circumstance ng, ng, mga, ng, ng bawat isa, lalo na po sa mga studyante natin. Okay? Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin, ito lang yung ina-expect kong output. Okay? Dapat po meron tayong alternatives na pinoprovide. Dahil iba-iba po ang kanilang kalagayan sa buhay. So here are the questions again. Let's see what boxes will you tick. Do you welcome suggestions? Are you open to try new things? How do you manage change? O ayaw mo lang change? Do you promote adaptive and differentiated learning? And do you respect students' learning styles? Do you respect na iba-iba sila and multiple intelligences? And do you promote and welcome diversity, okay, in your respective organization and in your respective classrooms? Alam nyo, napakaganda po no, ng flexibility because we give chance to everyone. And we see, no, kung ano yung, yung harmony na nabubuo when all talents are put together, okay? Next, authentic. Being able to use simple and real-life manifestations of concepts being taught. Ability to connect concepts to sensible real-life application to how they matter now and making it understandable, relevant, and useful to all concerned. Authentic, hindi fake, totoo. 
okay? Itong mga gurong ganito, ito po yung mga guro na ang kanilang tunuturo sa klase ay totoo. At totoong nakikita, nangyayari sa totoong buhay at totoong maiyakaplay sa totoong buhay, no? Gone are the days when we have to create fictional characters and fictional stories to make a point. Ngayon, pwedeng-pwede na po tayong gumamit ng totoong nakikita natin sa balita, totoong nakikita natin sa ating mga surroundings. Here are the questions I'd like you to ask yourselves. Do you focus on skills building than content mastery? Do you let students see the relevance of what you teach in their day-to-day -day lives? Or pagkatapos po ng klase, basta nakapag-lecture ka na, ayawan na, umiyan na, okay? Hindi natin pinoproseso. Dapat po may refleksyon no? after the, the session. Nire-relate natin. Ano ba ang gamit ng tinuro ko sa inyo ngayon? Do you use real-life data accessible to students? Yung totoong nangyayari at nakikita nila. Okay, may bigas pa ba sila sa, sa kanilang taguan ng bigas? Okay, para ituro mo ang math. Pwede pala, or economics, pwede palang yun. Ang gamitin mong sample. Do you cite your references? Okay, that's authenticity. Yung inyong mga references ba ay inyong nire-recognize when you make a point. Are you a 21st century teacher? Because a 21st century teacher is authentic. All right. Next, entertaining. The ideal teacher in the new normal world should be entertaining. It's the ability to inject fun, the sense of humor and excitement, making the class an enjoyable and engaging session. This type of a teacher makes use of larger than life approach and is not afraid to be unconventional. His way of teaching allows students to experience the subject, whether physically or virtually. Na experience ng bata, okay? Because you are entertained. Sabi nga no, we have to be entertainers, okay? No, ikaw yun talagang human visual aid, okay? Habang ikaw ay nagtuturo, nararamdaman ng mga estudiante kung ano talaga yung yung tinuturo mo. Dinadala mo sila doon. Okay, ikaw ba ito? Alright, pero wag man naman masyadong sa sobra, no? Kasi minsan, may mga teachers na entertaining. Kaya lang ang natatandaan na po ng estudyante yung mga jokes. Hindi na natatandaan kung ano yung tinuro. So, it should be a balance, no? Of that. So, here are the questions. Do you laugh at your own mistakes? How do you react when a student asks a question which you cannot answer? Bigla ka nalang bang magagalit? Nako, ito po ay ay nangyayari, no? Hindi mo alam yung tanong. Nung panahon ko ang 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 ang, ang tinuro sa amin, o kapag ka ganyan, ibigay mong assignment. Eh hindi na po pwede ngayon 'yon. Alam na po yung ganung style ng mga estudyante, no? At mangyayari lang naman na ikaw ay kakabahan kung yung iyong image na kinreate sa classroom ay eh, all-knowing. Pero kung yung learning environment na kinreate mo is co-learning, o mga estudyante, matututo kayo sa akin at ako din naman ay matututo sa inyo, wala pong problema kahit na hindi mo masagot yung kanilang tayo. Do you appreciate academic noise? Sino dito yung galit na galit pag maingay mga estudyante? I-appreciate niyan because it means they are engaged. Do you crack jokes when teaching to avoid monotony? And how do you lighten up things to manage cognitive loads? No? Meron pong cognitive load at minsan pag masyadong mabigat na at ang dami ng pinuturo, nakakapagod rin po yun. So look at this diagram, my, my fellow educators. This the anatomy of the new normal teacher. No? Andyan po yung mga compositions, attributes, and characteristics that I shared with all of you, which I hope na, na itry po natin na magkaroon tayo o ma-develop natin sa ating mga sarili. At hindi pa po huli ang lahat. The pandemic should not be an excuse no? for us to not to try and not to 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 actually learn new things and discover new things and 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 be uh, and, and possess all this this beautiful um, um characteristics and attributes all right ito nga po no ito pong quote na ito na nabasa ko because we are in the middle of change you know we've been experiencing changes a lot of them in fact and the only way to make sense out of change is to plunge into it move with it and join the dance according to Alan Watts. And I'd like to leave you with this personal quotation, my fellow um, academicians and administrators. No? As bearers of the torch, teachers thrive even in the uncertain. We don't only just light our paths, 
we also illuminate for the others. Alam niyo, totoong totoo po ito, ano? Uh, let us continue to be the best facilitators, to be the best advisors, to be the best mentors, more than just an ordinary teacher. So with that, no, for you to be an ideal teacher in the new normal world, I hope that we will keep checking ourselves. We will keep reflecting. Anong klaseng guru pa ba ako? Nawawala na ba yung passion ko? Am I engaging? Am I still an expert? Am I collaborative? Let's continue asking these questions. Okay? Para po tayo ay patuloy na nag improve at patuloy na nagiging pinakamagaling pa rin guru in our own right. And so with that, I'd like to thank you everyone for having me this afternoon. Mag-iingat po tayong lahat. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ms. Gillian. Ms. Gillian, I'm done. Thank you very much, sir. Now we will proceed to the question and answer portion. All right. Our first question is from Marco Gatchalian. Sir, of all the characteristics that you have described today, would you say that one of them is more important than the others? Why or why not? Um, sa aking pananaw, no, um, you cannot regard just one more as the most important characteristic. Um, I think it's a combination. Of, of, of different characteristics kasi hindi naman po pwedeng isa lang yung i-possess mo no? ah, kailangan po it's a balance of everything eh. kaya po um, um, mahalaga na itry natin na, na magkaroon tayo o ma-develop natin sa ating mga sarili yung iba't ibang mga characteristics po na aking na nabigay hindi naman po pwede na, na ikaw ay positive lang pero wala kang expertise no kasi positive ka nga pero pag tinanong ka hindi mo naman alam no o yung mga estudyante mo hindi naniniwala sa iyo dahil walang lalim yung iyong pagtuturo kaya naman pero positive ka di ba so hindi po hindi po ako naniniwala na meron pong isa lang na na, na dapat mo or mas importante um, over the rest of the other characteristics Thank you very much, sir. Our next question is from Luz Canoy. How do we handle a person who always find mistakes in others? Mm, okay. Alam nyo, may mga ganyan pong tao, no? Na talagang kahit anong gawin mo, um, they always find fault. Okay? Kung halimbawa po na nakausap nyo na or na, na nagkaroon na po kayo ng masisinang pakikipag-usap sa kanya, para ipaliwanag yung inyong side, no? Ipagdasal na lang po natin. Kasi meron po talagang mga tao na gano'n, no? Na kahit na anong gawin mo, rooted na. Rooted na sa kanyang sistema yung pagiging gano'n. Pero alam nyo po, darating din po yung time na siya ay makakahanap din ng isang taong mas magaling sa kanya at magtatama sa kanya. Okay, at pag nangyari po yun, ay marirealize, hopefully, marirealize po niya yung kanyang ginagawa, no? Na na magkaroon ng respeto sa lahat at sa kakayanan ng bawat isa. Yes. Thank you very much, sir. Our next question is from Marionette Tapao. How can we deal with diverse students, especially in this new normal setup? How can you deal with diverse students? Alam nyo po, um, diversity should not be treated as um, an enemy, no? as a challenge. In fact, we have to let the diversity work for us. No? And how do we do that? We have to profile our students. We have to know them. Tapat kilala natin yung bata, no? If, if, you, if you are not doing it in your schools, it's important that you profile the students. You should know their learning styles. You should know ano bang klase ng personality meron sila. At dapat i-manage natin yun yun. For example, na lang sa school namin, sa Global Innovative College. Ang mga teachers ko po, ang instruction namin, sa grouping pa lang, ha? hindi pwedeng random. Hindi pwedeng uh, ayoko po sana, although ginagawa po yun, pero hanggat maaari, strategic yung ating pag-grouping. 
no? According to personality or learning style. Minsan kasi nag-aaway-away ang bata. Bakit? Kasi nung ginrupo mo, lahat pala ng grupo na yun ay puro leaders ang characteristics. Puro dominant ang personality. Kaya walang nabubuo. Okay? Tapos yung isang grupo naman, puro mga followers or supporters lang. Puro melancholic yung personality. So it should be something that 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 is a balance of everything. no? Kaya po importante na let's do profiling of our students. Let's know them. no? Para po ma-manage natin yung diversity nangyayari sa, sa classroom or nag exist sa classroom. And let's take advantage of that. Okay? And let's make use make use of that diversity para po um, 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 makapag-promote tayo ng mas magandang kultura at mas magandang practice sa loob ng class. Thank you very much, sir. And then our last question is from Mitch Otogatis. How can we prevent teacher burnout? Oh, alam niyo po, um, sa panahong ito talagang nakakapagod. No? We have to do self-care. You cannot give what you don't have, sabi nga, no? Kung pag-good ka na, paano ka pa makakapag-influence ng ibang tao? So, dapat po iniintindi natin yung ating mga sarili. Alright? To avoid burnout, you have to to do things, other things, na pwede mong maging diversion, no? Ngayon, usong-uso ang pag -ahalaman. You can also do that. Kung ikaw ay nakakahanap ng refuge o ng respite sa pagluluto, gumawa ka ng ganyan. Gumawa ka ng ibang bagay other than your regular job. Okay? Talaga naman pong nakaka-burnout ang panahon ito. Pero we have to have that coping mechanism. No? At unang-una nga po, we have to do self-care. We have to actually think about our own health. Mental health natin, physical health natin. Okay? Dahil kapag ka po yan, ay, ay umaabot na doon sa maximum level, bibigay na lang tayo. At ayaw po natin mangyari yun, okay? Ayaw po natin mangyari yun dahil maaapektuhan po ang mga tao na kapalimit sa atin. Pag ikaw ay burnout na, ikaw ay laging galit. Ang mga estudyante mo, aawayin mo. Pag ikaw ay na burnout na, masyado kang stress. Ang mga kasamahan mo sa trabaho, aawayin mo. Okay, ang lahat ng paningin mo sa mga bagay-bagay, negatibo na. Okay, kaya po dapat, let's do other things. Let's do other things that we love. Let's do other things that that will make us actually uh, ano para ilabas yung ating stress no I'm sure marami pong mga bagay na available at pwede natin gawin okay thank you Thank you very much sir That's all the questions we have for now Any last reminders to our viewers for today po All right um I'd like to just continue to to encourage everyone my fellow educators Despite all these things that we are experiencing right now, continue looking at the positive side. Continue looking on the opportunity that awaits all of us. No, hindi la. I'm sure makakaraos din tayo. And you know, no, in the news, ay nanga. Malapit ng dumating ang vaccine. Malapit ng dumating ang bakuna. Okay, gumagawa na ng plano. Okay, and I'm sure babalik din, okay, yung mga bagay na ating nakasanayan, okay, but I'm sure meron na rin pong mga bagong maiiwan and as um, new normal teachers, continue to be flexible, continue to be um, um, resilient, let's continue to be positive, okay, at magpalakasan po tayo sa bawat isa. Like what I said earlier, let us continue bearing that torch, okay, let's continue holding on to that fire because as teachers, we do not only light our own paths, we also illuminate for others. Kawawa naman po yung iba kapag yung torch na yan ay namatay na. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.